Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. In a way, we are very much a bookstore. Um, as opposed to other comic shops, we focus more on current entertainment, but ours, as opposed to a lot of the books in, uh, say, uh, Barnes & Noble, um, all our books have pictures of them. You might wander into a bookstore once in a blue moon, you know, pick up a book. Um, we see our people every week, every two weeks, every month. Um, because it is sequential fiction. So when you, you're following a story, and you're following a story long term. Um, you know, I've been to weddings, I've been to, you know, christenings, um, barbecues. I mean, it becomes, a, it's a very social atmosphere. There really is that picture is worth a thousand words. And there are some times where a really, really good comic book writer will let the artist tell the story. And it allows you as the reader to actually fill in the gaps, make connections. An old comic book store I used to go to, and for the life of me, I can't even remember the name of what that was, was closing down, and they said there's a good comic book store at Grasshoppers, and I've been coming here for more than 10 years now, is it? About a decade, yeah. Uh, there are certain people who are writing comics today, such as, let's say, Brad Meltzer, who are best-selling novelists, and um, it is a legitimate form of media as anything else. It's just different because it's visual. I did have to cut some books because they were rising to three ninety nine in price, and you know, uh, it's an expensive hobby. And yeah, you do make your decisions. However, I've noticed that since I cut a few of my books out, the books that I'm buying are the ones I like, so I don't mind the um, I don't mind the cost. You know, I used to have a forty dollar a week habit, and I'm about twenty four dollars a week habit at this moment. I started coming here when I was really young, when John first opened the store. Asked John if he needed help, and I started as a part timer for that lasted about a week. And I decided I just like doing this and just kept with it. The mainstream superhero stuff will always be popular, but uh, over the past, I'd say like six, seven years, there's been a lot of uh, independent uh, comics that actually are written like novels. They all have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know, with stuff like Superman and Spider-Man, it's just a continuous story. They can never do anything that drastic uh, with these independent books such as Walking Dead or Why the Last Man, Fables. Um, if something happens in that book, it happens in that book. They don't go back and change it around. They look a little weasel-esque. Sure. Awesome, like the skulls we've been to the uh, I'm going to pass, so you're going. Right now, they're playing different card games. World of Warcraft, Magic the Gathering, The Spoils, um, Ascension. So they just come in and they get together and they play in open gaming or tournaments where we have prizes and stuff like that. We have scheduled events on the weekends, but we always have the tables available throughout the week so people can come in and play whenever they want. Cryptozoic's World of Warcraft. I've been playing it for the last five years it's been out. And uh, I play the game online. I'm a huge fan. and. Uh, the, the group of guys that I hang out with, we, uh, we've been traveling, going to uh, DMFs, uh, Darkwing Fairs. Uh, it's a hobby that is, that is constantly changing. Every couple months, about every four months, they come out with uh, new cards that they set, specific rules for the game every couple of months. Uh, they change things up, they give out the prizes. Prizes are actually pretty cool. If you sell the prizes uh, or trade them, it can help pay for the, the hobby. Some of us have actually won some uh, some money, some, some decent money. We never meant to open a comic book store. Uh, my wife and I were going to grad school full time together. So you can imagine that you know, you're know you eating a lot of mac and cheese. And on the weekends, we started selling comic books because I had a monster collection. So we started selling comics on the weekends at some of the local conventions that no longer really exist, just to make some money. After we finished our degrees, there's no jobs. So we decided, hey, let's do something on our own. The funny thing was, being business-minded, I made a, a whole number of plans on what, what'll happen if we don't make it, what happens if we fail. Never really thought about, you know, the success. <laughs> and here we are almost 20 years later, and, uh, yeah, and now we are the staple in the community. We've been here longer than most businesses in town. 